Hello there, this is Jonathan of the SS Motion bringing you another review, this time reviewing the brand new Halo set, the Scorpion Sting, which is set number CNG68, it has 616 pieces and retails for around £50. So this is the third Scorpion tank we've had in the line so far, now it's based on its Halo 5 Guardians appearance this time, it is still reminiscent of previous Scorpion tank designs but there are a few little key aspects that are unique to a new design. Um, so in this set you get a great scorpion tank, you get a little plasma turret here, you get the storm elite which is a great little figure that we'll get into, spartan book and a spartan protector in the red there. So let's take a closer look at these figures. So taking a closer look at Spartan Book here, this is the same character from Halo 3 ODST, except he's now joined the ranks of the Spartan 4s, and this figure represents his appearance in Halo 5, and it's just absolutely faithful and a stunning figure to add to your collection. Get a great unique ODST sculpted helmet, a new torso piece with some great little painted on combat knife details over here. Yeah, it's assault rifle, obviously one of his trademark weapons. Some new ODST pauldrons. And it's based on the typical Spartan body, so you get all the nice articulation in there. Get all the great little sculpted armor details. The armor can be removed. Absolutely fantastic figure, no complaints here. And this is one of the key highlights of this set, in my opinion. It's a really, really good figure. Now this is another figure in set, which is a Storm Elite from Halo 4 or 5, based on its uh, most common appearance in the blue armour. Uh, it's really nice detailed, nice sculpt lines, nice paint applications. You've got a nice bit of grey on his helmet, a bit of grey on his back. It's really great, you get a good little Storm Rifle weapon with him. He can now hold it two-handed, thanks to the new uh, articulation on the Elites. Uh, the armour is removable as well, which we've demonstrated previously. Really, really cool armour, no complaints at all, absolutely love it. Another keynote figure to this set alongside Spartan Book. Now here we have the final figure in the set, which is a Spartan Protector. Again, a Halo 4 5 armour, um, highly detailed figure again, but it is just a generic multiplayer Spartan, so it's not exactly exciting for me. Um, it's a nice red colour, again, arms removable, super poseable. But past that, yeah, it's just another armor. I'm glad that they've done it, don't get me wrong, because I like them knocking out new figures. Um, but to me, Buck and the Elite are definitely the highlight of this set for the figures. Uh, and to, to some degree, this figure is a little bit disappointing in terms of the weapon he's got. As you can see, he has this massive oversized SMG. And I just don't understand um, why this is back. Uh, if you were here from the start, this was how big weapons were. They since uh, downscaled it which has made it far more game accurate and actually you can have your figures hold it and aim down the sights with this one being so big you can pretty much only do the pose that he has it in right now i mean you can stretch it out but it just kind of starts looking ridiculous because it's huge <laughs> um i don't really know why it's come back because the other sets in this wave um, have the normal sized smg now um, so I hope this isn't a bit of a trend that they're going to try and bring back this massive weapon. Um, I'd recommend switching it out, but maybe you're a fan of these giant weapons. Who knows? Um, I don't like it. I hope it's not here to stay, but yeah, sure, maybe you love it. And to be honest, one weapon is not going to affect us from buying such an awesome set anyway. As an accessory to the Storm Elite, we get a little extra plasma turret. Uh, no new sculpting, this is a reuse of the existing plasma turret for the Covenant. Um, sadly, it's not in the nice blue colour that these should be in. Um, the box art and like related imagery did kind of suggest that it was going to be blue. Um, so I guess that one just got reserved to the weapons customizer packs. I'm okay with that because you know you buy the weapons customizer packs for the painted weapons. Um, this one is just a bit, um, you know, a bit too bland for me, but it's still great, and it, I guess it's good that they're giving us some variation, so you might be a fan of the grey turrets, who knows. Now onto the tank itself, now like I said earlier, this is based on its Halo 5 design, there are a few key unique features to this tank that we've not seen before, for example these curved sections on the wheel pods, um, that's normally where the marines sit, so I don't know if they're going to sit on top of those, or maybe the marines don't sit there at all, be interesting to see, but still it's a cool little unique design feature, and very accurate to what we've seen so far. 
Now, one of the key little features to this set, and all of them in this wave, is the printed details for me. I know it's small, and I know some people did like stickers, but I didn't have much luck with stickers on the tanks in the past. For example, on the Rhino, they were peeling off, and it looks quite terrible after so long. Here, they're here to stay. You've got some nice UNSC right in here, the logo, some stripes on the turret and on the wheel pods. It's really, really good, and I'm glad that we've switched to something more permanent. So on to the features of the tank itself. Uh, you have these all-terrain pods, uh, which are really good. They all ro rotate a little bit. Uh, if you lift the tank up itself, you can see the nice rotatable caterpillar tracks. They work on all four wheels. You have this nice rotating main cannon. It's really good, it moves up and down. Then you have some sort of range finder machine gun piece here. This can also pivot up and down. I'm not sure what it is, because on newer Scorpion tanks, the, the gun was moved from here. So I don't know if it's been brought back or if it is just some sort of range finder. But that's a great little piece for detail. You also have the um, smaller machine gun turret. You can fit a figure inside it. It rotates, uh, pivots up and down. I know a lot of people have had issue with it sticking up too much, but maybe that's how it looks in Halo 5 itself, so I don't think we can complain too much. What I find really good is here you have an openable canopy right in the middle and you can fit a figure inside it. I thought that they'd struggle to fit one in being such a compact design, but they really did manage it and I'm so glad they did. You also have little pivotable lights here, just tiny little light pieces, but you know, great little feature to add. Now one of the strangest additions to this Scorpion tank is the opening bay on the back of it. Now if you look here, you have a nice little detailed rear piece, but interestingly enough, this is a two part hatch and can open up. Now it looks like very much like an APC, you can fit figures inside there if you want, but this is where the engine's meant to be, so I don't know if it's just how Megabox designed the set, or if that is gonna be in the game. Maybe it's so you can make build an engine, put it in there, and have a little maintenance crew working on it. Either way, it's a cool little feature, um, nice little space to store weapons in or troops, or not use it at all. I mean, like I said, I think that's where the engine is, so I probably will try and build a custom engine like a lot of fans have already done. So overall, we have a fantastic new Scorpion. It's a great update over the previous versions. It's definitely worth picking up at least one. I have three already to have an armoured column. Um, they look so good next to each other, so it's highly recommended you get at least one of this vehicle. You get three great figures, one of them being a new playable character in Halo 5, along with a fantastic enemy. Um, so it's really, really great set. Highly recommended. Some of these sets will also come with requisition packs in the future. Uh, these are codes that you can use on the Xbox One to benefit yourself in Halo 5. This set didn't come with one because it's like one of the first batches, but later batches should come with them, no problem. So if you want another excuse to go buy one, there you go. But you shouldn't need it. It's such a fantastic set. Highly recommended. So go out there, go buy one. It's really awesome. Well, with that, that's the end of this review. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll bring you more reviews like this in the coming weeks. We have a lot of great new content, so we'll be showing that off in the coming weeks. Uh, it's going to be amazing. There's so many new sets that we're happy to review for you guys. So don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe. Stay tuned for more, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!